A Hattiesburg school bus driver has been relieved of his duties pending an investigation by school officials. At issue is the allegation that the driver spit on a child after kids on the bus were acting unruly. WHLT's Micah Barnes-Garcia talked with a concerned mother. So immediately I'm, I'm talking to him and telling him, you don't, that's not how you discipline a child. You know, that's just, that's totally too far. Those were mother's words to a Hattiesburg Public School District bus driver after her son came home and said his bus driver spit on him. And I asked him flat out, did you spit on my son? And he told me, yes, I spit on your son. Allegedly, the incident occurred after students were throwing things at the driver. But even with discipline those kids, you don't spit on them. There's a way to handle it. This statement released from the school district says they take any allegations of this nature very seriously. And the district expects all employees to behave in a professional manner, especially with students. We also asked if surveillance cameras are on district buses and were told no. He's the only one on the bus. You know, you know you have more than 10, 15 students that are on that bus and you know you can understand how he could get frustrated. But if he's that frustrated then he should ask for help you know there should be someone else on the bus to to watch those children Bernard says students bullying each other on the bus is okay, another okay. issue He's school crazy. safety there's been multiple times that he's been someone's hit him or you know through a pencil I mean it may be a lot of it small things but it a lot of those small things can add up to big things. I don't feel like the kids are protected on the bus or on the school campus if you allow your faculty to do things like this. You got to know what's going on, and if you know what's going on, you can step up and do something. Um, had I not known what was going on, then there would have been nothing that I could have done. Connecting you to Pine Belt News, Micah Barnes-Garcia, WHLT 22.